Hi there, um, Clint Adams here, and I'm with Max Kleining, or Max Penetration, as he's uh, famously known by me only. And we're at Club Holdfast, doing a deep dive today uh, on, I guess, everything turf and what it takes to maintain a bowls green, green, not a bowls wicket. <laughs> Sumi like Soka? The shitty green ones that people put in their front yard? Yeah, but heaps like better. Like an adult version of that? But like a yeah, thousand litres a minute. Yep. <laughs> I don't where, even know what that is, that's just dropped. Where would drop. you put it? Just here. And so it's only spraying out a metre each way? Well, I can regulate the pressure, yeah. Because I know we've sold these to golf courses in the past for their, um, to irrigate their, like, I guess <laughs> grassed areas out in the... <laughs> yeah, or like a spot that just doesn't quite get watered enough is what I use them for. So this bank here doesn't get quite as much water from our from these crappy hoses that we use. Yep. So the edges. This does seem quite archaic. Oh, for they watering are. Uh, this kind of surface. Something but, so fine. But it's yeah. what everyone does. Can you water it like a hockey field and just have these things pop up out of the ground and shoot 40 meters? Yeah, we've got the existing pipe work. You can see them there. Like the yep. infrastructure's there, ready to go. It's just got to be new heads, new Little fittings. It's got a lot of pressure. Get, you need to be able to hit like the other, the other end. You just have to be able to hit the middle and then put a middle out. Oh uh, yeah, I guess so. They put a middle, run a middle out on the mains tap. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It's been done here for years, but what happened was those houses over there got built, yeah. and then it started bore, colouring their fences and washing, and and out the back they got built. So we had to no more bore water in the, with first. the booms. Yeah, well they were here first by a little way. This actually used to be one whole green and that there that road used to be bowling green no shit so that was all one bowling green and they just went it oh was we're gonna take that Five thousand square meters of one bowling green yeah. so it took you like three hours to cut it once and then they just said oh by the way we're now taking that and yeah we're, road. we're just gonna build a main road now yeah. <laughs> that's why old tapley's hill road goes down the back there oh shit yeah so this was a compulsory acquired yeah exactly and all sort of sort of like the pipe work just got cut off and then teed off which is sort of pretty archaic. So, well. what's like? Do you have an idea of the percentage of um, real grass bowls clubs versus artificial now? Like, is is the yeah. real grass dying? Yeah, it is a bit, but it's mainly because we like our climate. We can't play in winter. Yeah. So a lot more and more of them, these players want to play in winter, yep. and they can't because they're just turned to sludge. Is there this like? I guess historical desire or this kind of like traditional play that playing on real grass means something different to play oh, yeah. artificial, like artificial. Everyone. Because they roll different. It rolls different, but the feel of it as well. Yeah. And like hot days, yeah. um, synthetics magnified yeah, to so like 60 really something hot. degrees when so it's a 40 degree day. So you can't play in winter, but now you can't play in summer. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. So it's a trade off. A lot of the clubs now are doing one green at their club will yep. turn to artificial, so they've yep. got an income stream during winter. Yep. They can just put them out on one green and not have to worry about it. Yep. So, because I, I, I guess I have that traditionalist, and I don't know where it comes from, but like that, you know. Oh, it's the whites, bowls whites. You get out on the. Yeah. It's, it's got to be grass. I just it's like lawn it. bowls. Like, I just, it's, yeah, it's, it's a know. huge break in tradition to have plastic surfaces. Yeah, but then I, I guess some sports like golf is a good example. Are going to need to change with the times if they want to have members paying. Yeah, it's going to be that. interesting for them going this, forward. You know, you guys have those barefoot bowls, or you open yep. it to the public for buck shows and. Night Whatever bowls, else, we have night bowls every week. That yeah. keeps us going. That basically keeps the club alive. Yeah, so, so. it's easier to say, like, hold on to, to tradition, but if it kills the club... Yeah, there's no point in holding on to it. That's right. That's yeah. right. No, like that's it. right. You've got to have a balance. More, more th The thing with bowls clubs now is you've got to diversify your income. Yep. So we have bingo yep. twice a week, yep. um, which basically keeps everything afloat. Yep. And then we have to try and get income from functions, from bowls, from... Weddings, engagement parties, all that sort of buck yeah. shows, like you said, and, and then the, the barefoot bowls. So. Buildings, most of the buildings are so just old. So no dilapidated. Yeah. There. No, that's right. But We've had like shows two and years. Hens days and that kind of thing. Oh, they right? heaps them because yeah. they have them out here. Yeah. So they don't really go inside. Yeah. They just sort of um, set up barbecues or they have food trucks come in here all the time. That's cool, actually. Yeah. And the car, there's a lot of car park. Like I didn't. Yeah, it's 130 car parks or something. Like, so we've driven no... past here so many times. Yeah. As a family, like you got to go. Yeah, it's a lot bigger back there than you realise. Yeah. But I didn't even know you had four greens and rinks. Yeah. 
croquet court there. Are they rinks? What are they called? So each one of these is a rink. Okay, it's called a rink. Oh, that's a rink. That's a green. Number seven. It's that's a, green. a green. And then there's eight rinks on each All green. Right. What are like, a li- like, like a lane. Like a lane. Uh, bowl. Bowl? <laughs> Kitty. Bowl? No, bowl. It's a bowl. B O W L. What's a group of them? Bowls? Yep. Okay, and they carried in a box? Uh, or a bag, or yep. a bag? Yeah. And then there's a bowler? Yep. And a mat? Yep, that's it. You got it? Alright. Skipper? <laughs> Skipper, yeah. Yep. Lead. Lead is the one that goes first, throws the kitty in place. The kitty being the jack. Yep, the jack or the kitty. Or okay, the, so that can be. Yep. Is, is, is it's kitty's it's more like yep. sexually neutral. Maybe. Yep, cool. Yep. Yep. Jack's, came in when Jack's the women came in. Mis- misogynistic. <laughs> yeah. Dill. Um, yeah, okay. And then lights. Lights, yep. Chairs. There's Amber. nothing really to it. Really, <laughs> there's nothing to it. Uh, bias, so the bowl takes a bias. Yep. So yeah, that's the it's pretty important. Uh, you... The weight in the bowl. There's a small weight in each bowl on the inside. And does everyone's bowl no, they're right. all different. And is that based on what you choose, or is yep. it like Formula One where you're like you have to stay inside? There's parameters, parameters. but um, not big ones. So you'll choose. So you can t- have something that turns that far, or you can have something that turns 15 feet. So you could just have a ball that doesn't turn. To a to a minimum level. Yeah, yeah there's a minimum level. So it has to turn. They have to pass on it. You can't it. just roll it like around. Nah, that's right. They have to pass it like a table test. Yeah. So they run them down a chute and it yeah. has to hit between that and that. Yeah. And if it doesn't hit that, then they shave one edge of it or something to make it turn more. Do you think the fact that you bowled professionally, and I hope that's a fair comment, helps Semi. or hinders your ability to look after the surface? Uh, it helps. It helps prepare them to a higher standard, but also it hinders in the way that I take feedback from people, yeah. I suppose. Because um, you know that they're full of shit. Like if they're yeah, like, that's right. It's not cut properly. You're like, well, it is. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I play well, this hasn't been cut this morning. Yeah. I'm like, well, I've just finished. Yeah. <laughs> just finished cutting it. Yeah. Nah, it's um, because it's an older demographic, yeah. they seem entitled to whinge about the surface that, look, quite know, a lot. But that's I the same that's with any. A, with golf courses, yeah, exactly or right. clubs are the same. Exactly right, yeah. Um, and, it, and I think a lot of the times that if, if they're playing this sport in their retirement, then they've got more time. Yeah, that's right. And that gives them time to prepare <laughs> An um, argument. letters of complaint <laughs> that's to, right. and to go to <laughs> committee meetings. Or local members. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so what is a day in the life? Like, this is not a full-time job for you looking after full this? Time. It's yeah. Full-time. It's full-time. Full-time. Full so, grand. So 6,000 square metres of grass that we cut between 1.2 and 2.2 mil. So how, how often are you cutting? Every day. Every, it has to be cut every Depending day. Depending on the grain, like this one's just come back from top dressing, so this has been cut four times in three weeks because yep. we want to promote the growth. It's trying to cover a few patches that we've had. Yep. Um, so I double cut that just then. That's the, yeah, that's the first real proper cut. And he's cutting that. In, so you so want to leave it, leave it so that it gets time to grow, but isn't cutting it encouraging it to grow or not really? Yeah, it sort of is, but it's, it sort of goes against those rules. Yep. Um, when you say mow your lawn to encourage growth yeah. and all that sort of stuff, it's it sort of does, yep. but it doesn't at the same time. Yep. When you're cutting it so low, like this one over here is in yep. play, yep. that's at 1.2. Yep. That's like, it would, yeah. It wouldn't repair these no, sand gaps. No, no, that's right. That's right. So this is this is going to be put out for a certain amount of time, keep traffic off it and hope that it runs. And how does that, in, does that inconvenience the club? Obviously, yeah. it's, you have to do it, but... Yep, but we're just time management. Do you book they lanes? Book, I book it out. Like, you'll book a lane. So, it, like, obviously, with a golf course, yep. you'll go on and say, I want to tee off at 803, there's, no, there's, there's a gap. No, none of that. So oh, just people... The thing is, play. what happens is, so in the, say, in the life of a grandkeeper, or a week in a life, Irrigation day is Sunday, Monday night. So Sunday night, Monday, sorry. No one plays on Mondays, that's my maintenance day. Yep. And then Tuesdays we have ladies practice, so they have one green and available. Then, so they're not using too much? No, nah, yep. no. Nah. So they have one green available. Wednesday's pennant day, so that can be either two greens or one green. Yep. And then we have night bowls Wednesday night, which yep. is two full greens. So yep. there have to be two full greens ready every yep. Wednesday night which at six. Which at the moment there is? Is the back one yep. and that front one. So you can always take one out of play? Yep, I can take one out of play. In the past, when this club was huge, it was the biggest club in the state yep. by a mile, yep. um, there was 13 teams of 16 people yep. every Saturday. Now there's six. And you played it here? I have played it for nearly 10 years. Yep. 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 So, but, um, I mean, yeah, in the life of the greenkeeper still, it's Thursday morning is ladies' day. Yep. And then Thursday nights, Friday nights, Saturday, you can book tournaments. Yep. Or you can book off the street social for a f- social function. So you yeah. just ring, ring in, ring the manager, book. Uh, it's ten dollars per person yep. for as long as you want. Yep. Um, have a barbie, have drinks, whatever. Do we do meals issue Friday night. Social things disrespecting the, the, the yeah. grass. And they just don't know. So you just got to. We have people. We have members that volunteer their time to come out and show them how to do things right. 
Set them on their way, and, and then, most and then are let happy them go. With that. Yeah, pretty well. Yep. yep. There's always the odd yeah. idiots. Well, that's that's the world. Yeah. So. They want to throw them over arm and things like yeah. that, and put like six Massive inch divots, divots in your yeah. in your green, and yeah. or people that wear high heels to a hen show and things like that. Yep. Um, it's, yeah, it's a bit annoying, but yeah. you can't but do anything. And I can't so. be here the whole time. No. So well, those those functions on it Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday afternoon. So I'm not coming for those. No, so I just trust the people around the show that they sort of care for the greens as I would I think that's the and they're pretty good we have good members here that I look after the place pretty so well so how, is there much issue with disease yeah obviously it's a very like it's a quite a well protected area like you don't have other grass no there's no infiltration you know, other like, than Santa Ana but yep. yeah which doesn't get in there yep. anyway so um, so all these patches that are coming back that was either Pythium or Fusarium we don't we don't really know we didn't get a disease test but yep. We sort of hit it with broad spectrum stuff, so it's working. Yep. Um, and that was a problem coming out of winter. Winter's just like you come here in winter, they're full of patches of disease. Yep. Like yep. you just can't stop it because of the cold climate and yep. then the heavy soil. It's a, and you, and the way you treat these, you treat these like absolute shit. Yep. To get them fast so that players like them. Yeah. So it's like a cricket pitch. You know, like you see them rolling it like absolutely murdering it. Yeah. And then because all of a the sudden, yeah, want, that's exactly what the bowlers, bowlers and batters want. want. So yeah. the bowlers have to be catered for. Yeah. And that's, so you basically, my boss, who taught me everything, he sort of said the first week that I was working, he said, bowling green keeping is like the art of killing a green and then reviving it on Sunday. Yeah. So you so kill you, it all week. You just want to kill it. You want to water it, water the hell out of it, fertilise it, whatever you got to yeah. do Sunday, and then just absolutely slaughter it until it's beyond dead yeah. and then water it again and revive it wow <laughs> that's just the Very art of it, way of at it. yeah that's it that was his the way he best described it so you water once a week once so that's it well, how, no how many mil of water would you be putting on it uh, about an inch yep. 25 so mil that's all it, that, at this level an yep. inch of water it only just gets through though sometimes and there's 40 degree heat so, so what's today Tuesday yep so that's been that's been water that got watered Sunday night yep. hoses came on uh, sorry got watered yeah into yesterday morning so by Hoses Friday, came Saturday, off yesterday. That's going to be crispy, dry. Yep. Yep. But the art of it is to try and make it look like it's meant to be dry all over. Yep. If you know what I mean, like it's still live you see, and well. You can see green in there. Yeah, that's right. So you can still just see it's a little bit patchy yep. from here, from last week, yep. trying to recover from heat yep. stress. And that's why we have to throw so much product on, like a lot of calcium, yep. which is like a carbohydrate, I suppose. Yep. That, um, the green needs yep. so to combat the heat stress. Can you make like the soil over calcified by doing that? No, I'm sure you could, but we couldn't. I can't. No. no. You so, just have to keep throwing it on. Yeah, it's like a, a foliar thing too. Yep. So it keeps the leaf fresh and And you're cutting that and dumping it as well. So that's right. Yep. So I mean you can see the dump the pile pile of stuff there that we dump every day and or two agents. days. Yep. yep. And you penetrant them on. Yep. penetrant in the hot weather and you know retaining moisture is, is pretty well key. Yep. Um, you want to be able to have a healthy root system at six inches or something or so, but have totally crispiness on top. But not crispy, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, it looks yeah. crispy, but it's actually nice and flat and soft so still. The water usage wouldn't be really that much. It's, I think it's like 40,000 litres per grain per yeah. week. Like but we use really, a bore. We use a bore. So you know, you compare that to a very like golf course or a oh, it's minimal. Or a sports field. Completely like, minimal. Yeah, That's it's right. Low in water because yep. you're you're actually intentionally like you can't get a golf you can't let a golf course green go crispy on a Sunday. No, that's right. Like it has yeah. to be the same every day. And this this sort of thing, um, like Sunday we had state singles here. Yep. So on Friday night I thought, oh god, this looks horrible. I need to water it so yep. badly. But they still had a full day of bowls Saturday, so including can, cutting and yeah. rolling, and then a full day of bowls Sunday. Yep. And I couldn't get in here Sunday night, so I had to wait till Monday morning, basically, can to hand water. water or you yeah, you can hand water, but it slows patches. Yep. So if you just water one spot that's drying out, yep. you water that spot, slows it down, it becomes what they call two paste. Yep. So you go in a, in, in a fast patch and, and then into a slow patch, yeah. so then they hate that. So yeah. And I would hate it too, so I, yeah. don't, I try not to do it. Yep. So, so it's hard, what, you've got to sort of watch it die. <laughs> yeah, there is advantages. Oh, there's definite advantages because I know what the standard should be. Because there's a, obviously we do with a lot of golf courses, and it's a question that I often ask the supers: like, are you playing? Mm. And if not, why? And when you did, how often were you playing? Like, you know, we know golf supers that are, I guess, playing off single-figure of golf handicaps, yeah. and others that hate golf. Yeah, they might hate be. Golfers yeah, that's right. Yeah, because <laughs> hate bowlers. Yeah, yeah. Correct. well, and so, <laughs> but the 
you know, there's some clubs that we encourage their super to play once a week, yep. so that they're out on course, be so, seen, and you know, well, and, and have a look at the place. So, that, like, if they hit their ball, are you out playing into the it? Rough, yeah. like, oh, is this fine. playing how you think it should yeah. be? And, well, this yeah. valve box is broken. I didn't see that. Cause yeah, that's right. I'm moving yeah. so fast. Yep. So yep. I guess it's a lot easier for you. With, Smell the roses with a bit. This, yeah. Because you can see the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Whereas a golf course, you can't see the whole no, thing. No, that's right. You can keep your eye over this pretty easily. Yeah. It's not such a not such a massive area. And so it's week in, week out. So what is that? I mean, it sounds like a dairy farmer. Like, can you go on holidays or? Not in summer or spring. Yeah. No. So yeah, week. basically from Groundhog Week, halfway through August. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Halfway through August until oh, at least the end of April. Yeah. You don't get a day off. And then you just go to you Bali work. for a week. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, that's right. That's what most screen keepers do. They yeah. go, they'll go to Vietnam for a month, or yeah. they will do the Gold Coast or yeah. something like that. And that's yeah. what we've Depending done in the past. The county, yeah. We go Gold Coast, or we went on a cruise a couple of years ago and things like that. But yeah. but it sort of sucks going away in winter only. That's and why you have the to family go to cop it a bit. That's right. Because then it's you got to go out of the country. Seasonality wise, we're the same. Yeah. Like water pro. Yep. You guys all, are busy. And, yeah. and when I had less staff, I couldn't do it. I had yep. to stay. And then we, we I, I guess, I think I went to Bali ten August mm. or ten July August in a row. In a row yeah, because yeah, because that's the only time you do. It was cheap, um, and you could do it eight ten days and exactly. you refresh and you're back at it. The thing for me is like, I mean, I've got Colin here, the absolute trooper. Yep. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> like, but he can't cut grains. So if I go away, there's they don't get cut. He just can't cut greens. Well, he doesn't want to, and yeah. I don't blame him because yeah. it'd be then he would be able to do everything here. <laughs> and he, he doesn't. Volunteer? Yeah. Oh no. Shit. Yeah, yeah. No, he's volunteered. Yeah. yeah. He's like seventy-five. Yeah. And does more work than me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, um, yeah. So if he does that, then all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. So being here on your own, it's sort of you. You can't. You have sick days. I no clubs are big enough to handle. No. Nah, paying food, someone to come food. outside either. Yeah. yeah. So there's contractors around the place. You could sort of lean on them. Yeah. Uh, give, can you come in for? I'll give you 100 bucks cash to cut three greens or whatever or something like that. Just, yeah. just like, so on the spot to away, keep yeah. you out of a pinch or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But then that, that was you. that was the hard thing for me playing competitive bowls into state and overseas. Yeah. When do you go away? Yeah. All these tournaments are on in yeah. bowling season. Yeah. So you've got to be really good with your time management. You've got to get Primo on or yeah. growth yeah. regulator yeah. on so that people can just come and roll instead yeah. of cut yeah. for a full week so yeah. that grass doesn't get cut for a whole week. Yeah. Things like that. So your time management, your water management's got to be like on the spot and if it's one block sprinkler yeah that doesn't and get then, and it's not like high tech nozzles like no there's no filters <laughs> they're tiny little spinners that's like. all they are yeah so if one blocks up overnight and you get here and there's a big dry patch but the you've either got a chance to water it right there and it. there yeah. or you miss it for but the whole week there's not enough bowls clubs that I guess in the world for someone to spend any like money developing a nozzle that's not no, that's block. that's all there is yeah. that's the best there is really yeah um I mean, a lot of the guys have got pop-ups. Yep. They booms from the sides. Yep. Um, so, do you ever apply fertilizers through that? It looks no. Like they're quite iron. It's just bore. Irony. It's okay, just that's the bore. bore. Yeah, bore yep. staining. But those those sleds are probably ten years old. They need replacing. So, when you're they fertilizing, are you fertilizing from a foliar point of view because it's uh, so no, fine? No, granular you, as well. Yep, so yeah, mini yeah. pill style. Yeah, mini pill is the same size as as, as yeah, any other yep, green yep. grade so product that, I use. That's good. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Sort of 85 SGN or something like that, I think yeah. it is, or something like that, yeah. 100. Yeah, so but it's, if um, you fertilise with that here, you, the green would be out of play for a little while. Or oh, the next day I'll cut it. No shit, so have to, yeah. yeah, okay. Have to be able to do that. So I use um, Anderson's yep. DG. Yep. Uh, it's great stuff, it's really fine. Like yep. it's like a powder nearly. Yep. Put it out, and it's not no slow pickup. Release. There's no pickup. Yeah, it's slow release. Yep. There's no pickup on your shoes or yep. anything like that. It's watered in within four hours, sort of 16 yep. mil. Because it takes, yeah, four hours to put 16 mil on. Yep. Four mil an hour yep. with those, roughly. Yep. Um, but then, yeah, you've got to cut next day. Something yep. like you just have to, like I have to cut that this morning. Yeah. We've got cut water came off yesterday. You've got to cut it straight away and then I'll cut it again tomorrow. It's so We've intense, got bolts here. Like, so. It's it's such, and, it, and I see it in golf all the time. It's such, there's such high demands. Mm. And, to, such, to play on. and such low pay comparative, comparatively to what the yeah. expectations are, yeah, exactly. and no appreciation, yep. and continuous like this isn't, <laughs> this isn't, this isn't, this isn't, and it's not just exclusive to you or this club. No, it's like, the it's turf just, industry. It's the turf industry. Mm, that's right. It, it, it's you know if everyone turned that tap off of turf support on the same day, like what and happens? struck yeah. or strike, yeah. whatever you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Struck is good. <laughs> you know, like it's going to be interesting. Imagine the kick up. That's it. Oh, it's still a little hard. Other way. <laughs> Does it, I always feel like I'm going to go Yeah, is that normal?
Nice. It's not quite going to come back that far. Yeah, that's all. It's not in shot. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything like, I guess, if you've, you've been, have you been greenskeeping here 10 years? Uh, so it's 10 years next year, yep. So I started there, here as a apprentice. Is there anything different that you do now that you didn't do 10 years ago? Like, has, has the weather patterns changed or the... Oh, the weather's definitely the, the changed. demands? Yep, yeah. spring's harder and harder every year. Yeah, as in it's later? Yeah. Yep. But then it goes straight into heat, like it's really like 20, heat. It's like 20, 20, 20, yeah. 40. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. so you go, you, you sort of, you miss spring nearly. Well, it, like spring you, runners, you could now, always like, start September 1, we, but now you've got to go October 1. We've got 35s, 40s, 28, mm, 19, mm, 18, mm. like the, this. It's like, definitely like, less predictable. Yeah. So when I first started here, like you could bank it, on, honestly, you'd bank it, you'd have to do these renos September 1 when the first sign of warmth. Yep. Like there was, a, it might have only been a 20 degree day, but it still wasn't That's 12. Yep. Yeah, yep. so There's soil activity. You've yeah. got to get them moving so that bowlers can start going on them permanently, yep. permanently from the 10th of September till the 30th of March. But like, there's no, there's no break. Yeah. There's no break, and unless you put one out like this, there is no break at all. So you could bank it. You could always bank that. You know, we had to be out there September 1st with a scarifier or yep. core or whatever yep. to open them up and get them, get them moving. First feed two weeks later or whatever. So, Has there been much of a difference in disease? Here from the weather, or are you using different chemicals now, or has, nah. has there been much advancement in chemicals? Not that I see. No, yeah. I, I don't use anything. I don't actually use a hell of a lot of fungicide and things like yep. that. Um, put some preventative stuff out in January and February, yep. coming up soon, yep. um, to help with the winter and spring onset yep. stuff like that. Um, spring dieback is a big thing. Yep. Um, but I, there's nothing new, um, and I mean, there's a few new chemistries out, but I haven't used them. Yep. Um, well, there's obviously new chemistries that have new price tags. Oh, and, it's huge price tags, that's right. And for a club like this. Yeah, if yeah. you're... Um, I mean, equal. budget per square metre here is pretty poor. Yeah. I mean, but we can't... You have to do deal with that's what you... Yeah. You and if you didn't want to do it, you leave. That's exactly right. Yeah. You know, it's, exactly it's obviously right. something that you enjoy yep. doing. And, yep, for sure. Um, like, if... You, so, okay, so... If you didn't do this for a job, what would you be doing? If you weren't working here, do you think you'd still be in turf? Uh... It depends what I would have done so long ago, I suppose. Like, I don't so know. It would have been a decision yeah. that you chose. Yeah, then. Um, like I, do, right now, I do love it, so said, I don't know. They came here and they said, synthetic, the whole thing's done in six months, you don't have a job anymore. I would try and get another job in turf. In turf, you enjoy yeah. it. Well, I know it's safe too, for yeah. me, because I know I will probably probably could get a job. Yep. Whereas if I tried to start something totally new, I would yep. be screwing my family a bit. Too. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, no, I think I would stay in turf. Yep. Um, I do my own thing on the side as well, yep. which I love, yep. so... Um, How seasonal is that? Is that pretty much just random yep. now? And, yeah, seasonal. So yeah, very. Three, six months of. Uh, so yeah, it was. Uh, so basically, from September right through to Christmas, I was flat out. Yeah. You're it'll go here really quiet time. now. Yeah. As well as yeah. Um, it'll go quiet now until I would say probably end of February. Can and then there'll be some more pouring. Just, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can do it all. You can do it any time yeah. in a growing season. Yeah. I've done twice on my lawn. Yeah. Just to keep it going. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll get I'll get busy again at the end of February. I'll have people ringing up for coring yep. on the onset of winter. Yep. Get some of that shit out from the from the year, yep. um, and also pre-emergent spraying. I've found is huge. Domestically, people want pre-emergent put out, so they don't they don't want to battle weeds come yeah. spring. Yeah. Okay. So I've been I did a heap of it last year. Is that something you need to be licensed to do for the product? Yep. You've got to yeah. have a chemical registration yeah, license. Okay. Yep. So, that's so. Cool. are you warming up out there, Trent? <laughs> I just, I just realised we're standing with a car park as the background instead of a golf course. A golf course, a green, <laughs> bowling green, yeah. And we left you in the sun. Yeah, we're missing all the stripes. We just so, striped it up for you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Would well, you want to show us anything? Like, is there stuff? We'll get get on the grass. Yeah, for sure. So Trent can, so we can feel Trent's pain. So I mean, when was this watered last? Uh, yesterday. Okay, and this will get treated the same. You won't be watering it more while it's. Yeah, I'll water it more. I'll water it more, but. More often, but less water. Yeah. Um, just to avoid the pooling. Yeah. And to keep it a bit more even, I'll move the sprinklers around a little bit. So, I mean, it's How long yeah. I mean, though? like, that's at fifty cents. So in, I think that's two point something mil. They call it fifty cents. So we measure with a fifty cent piece. Yeah. So a slide bar fits fifty cents. Yeah. In between that. Because so the rulers are so impossible to measure, so you just like. <laughs> we just. I think people just got. Uh, they didn't want to use imperial or. Yep. Metric. Yep. They just wanted to use something that was standard and you can fit and you in the slide there. bar. So what, yeah, how, you always, how, how long Green Keepers always had. Five cents? Yeah, five cents <laughs> is over there. No shit. Yeah, that's five cents over there. 
Yeah, we'll go have a look in a sec. How funny is that? But this is 50 cents, and then we'll gradually bring it down to avoid the scalping, the sort of one third rule. And like real ballers, mow at five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you can sort of, you can sort of go at zero. Yeah. You can actually sort of cut at zero, yeah. where you just not, there's no gap. Like it's yeah. just, that's how hard these get. Yeah. They just, and the mower and just sort of skates so over flat. it. Yeah, the mower just sort of skates over it. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't really do a hell of a lot, but. Yeah, this is, um, so this has come back real lush. Uh, Renault was done on the 23rd of December. Yeah. So it was just sort of, we had a lot of patches like this here. Is there like a reality of people having their home lawn to this level, like? Yeah, I think so, one day. Be... Depends on the machines they can, they can afford. Yeah. It's becoming more and more affordable to buy. Or people are spending more well, money, I should say. That money, yeah, yeah, they are. They are. Yep, yep. I suppose it's like I, I, I hear so many people when I go out and do these domestic jobs that say, "Oh, it keeps me out of the pub, or it keeps me out of off the street, or whatever." Blah blah yeah, blah. Whatever, you know the old cliches. Your but was. yeah, whatever. Whether you were a heavy drinker and yeah. now you're a lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> so um, no, it's interesting. Well, you think about it, like homebrew, say for example, yeah. or something that people would have. They're buying kegerators and. Yep. And yeah, they're like, spending big money on all it. of that. Yeah. It's whatever the person keeps them at home you know, doing something that they like. Um, and we got I got a mate who was photography. Like yeah, the there you go. money he was spending on cameras. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah, and there you go. It was a hobby. Yeah, you know that's so. all it is. Yeah, so yeah, so the whole reason we top dressed was to get these patches back. Yep. So you can see here the runners. New growth. Yeah, that's all we want to see. B roll, baby. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I like this strip here. So we play that way. Yep. So this strip here the, is like the highest traffic area because always, they put the mat here. You always play the same way? Uh, in no, winter we'll go the other way. In winter. Oh, sorry. Yep. Yeah, okay. So you play that way and then play back. Yep. Yeah, but the, like I say, the highest traffic area is right yeah. here. Yep, because everyone's standing here waiting and... and so it gets double feed. balls and... Yeah, well they're just, even just standing balls. here, standing here for six hours straight. Yeah, that's feet covering Well, it's just grass. packing, yeah, it's yeah. Just packing the grass down. And when you've already rolled it, four times with a 250 kind of, kilo roller. <laughs> so most of the repair is at those ends. Yeah, you can see, you can see, even see from today, that's, that's the first time it's been played on this week. You can still, you can already see like a waviness yeah. where there's well, green So those ground. patches there, are they where the jack's been sitting or that's where people Nah, it's just where they've been playing, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. So, yep. Well, Kitty? Why yeah. Change waves and uh, oh, sorry, I thought you meant go that way. Um, why do you, yeah, so why do you, why To minimise the damage here. Yeah, so that's it all it is. A break. Yeah, it gives it a rest, which it, it's not growing anyway, so it's not really a rest, but it's sort of. It yeah. makes sense. May as well go that way because we don't use that <laughs> bit of grass. Yeah. That bit of grass doesn't get used. Yeah. May as well let them play that way. And in winter, like because there's no repair, if you played here, you would come back in September and it'd just be divots everywhere yeah. from where the old fellas have dropped the bowl and things like that. Yeah. So you'd just be you'd be a month behind straight away. Yeah. So and in Queensland, New South Wales, they play both ways all the time. Yep. Like so, in the morning, yep. they'll come out and they'll play that way. Yep. In the afternoon, they'll put the pegs in that way and go yep. that way. Yep. But we can't do that because we haven't got room. Yeah, you need <laughs> another landing there. Yeah, that's right. So you'd have to shorten your green, then you'd lose a rink and all that sort of and stuff. Chairs. And, yeah, that's right. That's the best part. So that's about getting Moles developed there. In the shade, drinking beer, isn't it? Or yeah, out here with beer, and then up the back there, sitting and watching, is the best thing. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this will gradually get cut down. So, like I said, you can't. So just, yeah, you can't just go cutting it at five cents, cents straight away. You'll just go yellow. Cents, yeah, that's right. Yep, just drop it gradually. That's why I cut it twice today. So do you think in the US they mow it a nickel and shit? Like in they a might. And they might. No, I, I think they use like thousands. Like <laughs> I think they use thousands of an inch. Things yeah. like that. Like uh, two not, thou or five thou or whatever. I, I don't reckon it is either. Yeah. But I'll show you the difference between this and that. Like, you, you can feel bowl, this is... Is your team called the Sharks? No, Henley are called the Sharks. Was there a shark on your sign? That's a wave and a shark, so uh, it's the bay. So you guys are the waves? The bays. The bays? Yep. Watch your feet, dude, you're about to yep. step up. <laughs> so then you go from 50 cents to 5 cents. So this is operational? This is ready to roll. And what's this? these lines are from a um, groomer or...? Yeah, Scarify. Yep. yep. So Scarify this probably three or four times a year. Yep. Either lightly or heavy, sort of depending on the time of the season, and then it gets groomed every two to three weeks. Jesus, and, and that way? Yeah, or anyway, yep. yeah, you've got to try and multiply the way you go. So you can see stripes from cutting last week, stripes from this morning, yep. and then that was last Friday. And what are so these black lines for? That's the, so that's a rink guide. Yep. So that's the boundary peg up there, center line here. So who draws them? They're pretty straight. Oh, they're me, but they're really not straight. They look all right. <laughs> they're not too bad, we just follow a string line. So. Oh, and so, then, and so then there's people better at it than you. 
Uh, Was that chalk paint? Certainly hope so. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're the best, we got some trouble. Water based paint? Yep. So we managed to record a deep dive. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for having us down here, Max. No worries. Um, and hopefully, I think I'm going to piss off to Adelaide Bowls Club and do some <laughs> sneaky practice. And we're going to come back here and I'm going to challenge Max to a bowl off. Beer off. Beer off. <laughs> I, I'll probably win that as well. Yeah. So, thanks again, man. No worries.